everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing this tripod by On, the Walmart brand. It's a tripod with a smartphone cradle. I've been looking for a tripod for, not for my camera, but for my phone. And this is the first thing I came up with in Walmart. It's around the $25 mark and we're gonna unbox it and see if it is worth $25 or if you should save your money a little bit more to buy a better tripod or if maybe we could find something very similar to this but cheaper. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. I'm gonna be using my iFixit kit in here. First link in the description if you wanna get your own iFixit kit. This is my favorite kit for unboxing and for really fixing anything electronic related. So we're gonna go ahead and start by taking off this little tape around the box. All the tapes gotta be taken off and there's one more in here. Now we could open the box to the top and the first thing that I see in here, I'm already seeing, I don't know if you guys could see it, is that it comes in a bag which is great, actually. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so that seems to be all of it. It comes in a bag, which this is actually pretty cool, pretty neat. Everything is tied together. It's a bag that you can carry on with you. So, so if you're going somewhere to do a photo shoot or whatever, this is pretty cool, actually, to carry. I remember a couple of years ago, Walmart was selling tripods with no case. So this is actually great. And once you open the case, we can see that we have the phone cradle, which is actually really good because if you go to Walmart and you try to buy this by itself, you won't be able to find it in person. The only option that they have in person, it's a cradle that comes with a microphone and it's around $10. So I think that the tripod coming with the phone stand is pretty, pretty cool. As we can see in here, let me open this up. We even have a GoPro little cradle in here, a little GoPro stand. So you have a GoPro, you know how it works. You can put the GoPro in there, set it up. And this is pretty cool because it has the mount for the tripod. And then we have the little phone cradle in here, which I guess is adjustable like that. You can move it around and you can set up your phone. And then I see that it also rotates in the back so you can rotate it as you need, which is pretty cool. And it's actually not cheap plastic. This is pretty hard, which is pretty nice actually because I wouldn't trust a cheap cradle with my phone, especially if you have an expensive phone. You don't want your phone just falling over and breaking. So this is actually pretty good quality and a pretty good addition nowadays that a lot of people are creating content using their phone. Like right now I'm recording this video using my phone. Now let's get to the tripod. So we have the tripod right here inside the bag. It's not really that hard to take out. All you have to do is move things around and then you start pulling out. We see that it also has a little paper in here with a guide on how to set it up, which is pretty cool. We don't really need that. I mean, it's just a tripod. How hard can it be to set up, right? So looking at the tripod, this is actually pretty good quality. I was expecting something way cheaper. This is metal. This is metal. I don't know what type of metal it is, but it's actually pretty, pretty nice. This is actually pretty surprising. I wasn't really expecting this. I was expecting one of those plastic cheap tripods, but this being metal is pretty cool. So this is like any tripod you will imagine. You could adjust the legs and everything is metal in here, which is pretty nice. Actually, I'm, I'm a bit surprised. I, I was expecting complete garbage, but this being metal is actually pretty, pretty cool. Pretty surprising as well. We see that the top of the tripod, I don't know how you call this, the head of the tripod, I don't know. It's pretty similar to other tripods out there in the market. It also has this little bubble in here for leveling up the tripod. So you make sure the legs are leveled up. I don't know if you can see from over there. Let me get closer. It has a little bubble in there and the top mount also has a little bubble in here to make sure this is all level. So your photos come out as straight and as stable or your videos come out as stable. And this is a pretty nice addition as well because like a year ago, I bought a tripod from Amazon. It was around $30 as well and it wasn't even close to this. It was a plastic, super cheap one. Didn't have anything to help you level your image. So this is pretty, pretty cool. The way you set up this tripod is by pulling this back in here and then getting this out. And once you take this out, you have this little bolt down here which is the traditional bolt for cameras and tripod mounts and all of that. All you have to do is pull back on this bolt, just start unscrewing the bolt. And all you have to do to set it up is find whatever you want to mount and just put it in here and it starts screwing the bolt. So if you want to use it for your phone, like I'm going to do, you just put the phone mount in here, the phone cradle like that. And then there you go, you're pretty much set. All you have to do now is put your phone in here, set up the phone however you want if you're going to record vertically or horizontally, depending on the type of content that you're doing. If you're doing it for TikTok, for YouTube, whatever type of content you're doing, you open this up, you put your phone in here, which I'm using to record right now, so I can't really put it in here. I guess I could show you in a second once I'm in the office. And since this is a quick release mount, all you have to do now is go back to the tripod, pull this lever back and then pull this in like that and close the lever again. And now you have the little cradle set in there. So you could use that to record, you can move this around. And of course you can adjust the strength of it. So if you put it, I guess on the hardest setting, harder to move around. Also, if you want to adjust the height of the tripod without moving the legs, what you could do is loosen up this little thing here and then using this little handle in here, you could just go in circles like that. And as you can see, the height starts adjusting to whatever you need it. And then I guess once you're done, once you like the height, you just go ahead and 
tighten this up and it won't go down. So it will stay, as you can see, pretty hard in there and it won't go down. And if you want to put it back down, all you have to do is loosen it up and then use the handle again, but the other way, like so. I also like that the tripod comes with this little handle in here. So if you need to move the tripod without closing it up because you're just moving locations within the same place, you can use this little handle in here so you don't have to grab the equipment from the top and you don't have to use the legs as a handle because you can grab it through here and just move the tripod around. Now the plastic parts like this one right here and everything that is plastic does feel a little bit cheaper. However, we have to keep in mind that it is $25, which is a really good price, especially if you're just starting out and you don't wanna to go to Best Buy and spend $130 on a tripod. This $25 tripod from Walmart is a pretty, pretty good option. Now I came over to the office so you guys could see how tall this tripod could get if we were to open up the legs, all of them, open it all up and drop all the legs down to the max length, every single leg to the max. This tripod could get pretty, pretty tall real quick. Now watch. This is just with the legs open without pulling up the little stick. This tripod is almost as tall as me and I'm 5'10" which is not that tall, but it's pretty good so far. And if we were to open this up, so remember, we loosen this in here, and now we start going in circles with this. This tripod just keeps going up higher and higher. So let's say that I was going to do videos of standing up. This is already taller than me. So somebody who's like 6'4 could use this and it could be right on their face. Just look at that. I mean, I hope it stays in the frame. It's pretty, pretty tall. So if we were to put our phone up there, it will go over my head. So I will obviously need to lower it down a little bit. So remember, to lower it down, you just go back in circles. And if I was doing content for social media and I wanted to put my phone in there, it would be super, super simple to just put my phone and have it facing me directly so I could see the camera and I could be level with the camera when I'm recording videos for social media. And according to the box, this tripod goes as tall as 67 inches. I don't know why, but from my perspective, it feels a little bit higher because 67 inches is around 1.78 meters and that's around my height and this goes above me. So I think this tripod goes above 67 inches. And also according to the box, the lowest you can set it up for is 24 inches, which is pretty good if you wanna do video sitting down and you wanna put the tripod as low as possible. So that way the camera could face you if you're sitting down at a desk or at a table, you can set it up super low. So overall, this tripod actually gets an eight out of 10 from us. The reason I'm not giving it a 10, it's because there's way too much competition. If you go on Amazon right now, you'll probably find tripods really similar for around the same price, but it is a still a pretty great tripod, especially because you could get it from your local Walmart. So that's why we're giving it an eight out of 10. But I do think it is a great addition to your products. If you're trying to do videos, if you're trying to do photos, this is really a great addition. That is it from me today. Let me know what you think about this product. If you do end up buying it and let me know what other products you would like me to see unboxing this channel. Even if it's just a Walmart product, it doesn't matter. We'll still buy it and unbox it. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.